The purpose of this video is to graph piecewise functions. So our example here, f of x, we want to graph x squared if x is less than 0. And we want to graph the linear equation 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0. So in y sub 1 for our first equation, we are going to enter in the quadratic expression. And we want to make sure to use parentheses around that term. Enter in the domain x is less than 0. So we're actually going to use brackets for that part. And with the brackets, it's right above the parentheses. Since it's in blue, we have to press second first to obtain the bracket. And we want x is less than 0. So in order to access your inequalities, we want to go to the test menu, which is right above the math button. And once again, it's in blue. So we have to press second in order to access that menu. And less than is option number five. So you can scroll down to number five or you can just type in the number five. And we want to make sure to close our brackets. On the next line, we want to enter in 2x plus 1. And once again, we want to enter that with parentheses surrounding it. And we want to put brackets around our domain. Here we want x is greater than or equal to 0. So once again, we need to go back to the test menu. And we want option number 4. So once we graph our piecewise function, you see that for the negative values of x, we have our quadratic graph. And then for the x values that are greater than or equal to 0, we have our linear equation. When you access the table, what you notice, y sub 1 was the quadratic graph. And you only have responses when your x values are negative. Everywhere else it has zeros. So you can kind of think of this in terms of Boolean logic. It's zeros, meaning that this statement is not true. This x value is not less than 0. Same thing with y sub 2. We entered in our second equation, 2x plus 1. And our conditional statement was if x is greater than or equal to 0. So if the x values are not greater than or equal to 0, it has 0, meaning that statement is false. So it's not evaluating that. But when your x values are 0 or above, it does evaluate your function for that, and you obtain these values.